hey friends welcome back to my channel my name is tatian thank you so much for clicking on this video i am so excited to share this video with you guys i just got back from my trip to banff national park and i enjoyed my experience there it was amazing if you are a nature lover or if you enjoy beautiful scenery definitely consider planning a trip to banff national park uh, in this video i share with you guys some must-see lakes in banff national park and if you know banff for anything it's known for its beautiful glacial lakes so yeah keep watching guys because i shared some tips navigating these lakes due to high demand visiting some of the most popular lakes in banff national park parking lots will fill up before sunrise and it will remain full until sunset so i highly recommend taking a transit or booking a pax canada shuttle which makes it really easy and stress-free and it's like the only way that will ensure that you get to see these iconic lakes so booking your shuttle in advance is highly recommended just to let you guys know that the park shuttles and other commercial buses are permitted from june to mid-october um personal vehicles might have issues with parking so i just highly recommend that if you want a really stress-free journey and maybe if you if you even want a tour guide you could definitely go on banff canada tours and you get to see um tour guides and options that you could pick visiting the lake guys is such a big deal parking is like a nightmare but i didn't have to worry about this because we are we got booked with a tour guide and our transportation was covered so basically we just got dropped off at um our first lake which is lake louise oh my goodness this is one lake that i highly recommend that if you are visiting banff national park you definitely have to check this lake out lake louise is undoubtedly one of the most iconic lakes in the world it's nestled in banff national park um you can see that it has like pristine turquoise waters and this color comes from fine glacial particles basically the fun fact of a day and this uh, beautiful lake is surrounded by snow cape peaks creating a postcard perfect scene uh if you visit this lake basically lake louise there are um couple of activities you could check out there are people who do canoeing and if you want to do that you have to pay about 150 dollars uh, per person for a three person uh, canoeing i didn't go canoeing i went on a mini hike and yeah there are a couple of trails that if you want to uh, walk or whatever you intend doing you could definitely check it out guys it is so beautiful here the air is like so clean i just really enjoyed my time and of course i had to take some pictures so guys uh the next lake that i got to see and i highly recommend is morin lake oh my goodness guys there is a little bit of hiking so i highly recommend that you wear good shoes uh i wore crocs but geez i wish i wore better shoes so there's like a rock pile trail that you have to walk all the way up to go see the beautiful lake it is such a walk and yeah we just kept going all the way up and you guys i highly recommend if you're coming you have to wear something really warm it's so cold up because like when you go up it gets so cold but yeah he got rewarded with this beautiful lake guys this is morin lake this literally it looks so unreal like it is so 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 blue and yeah um the morin lake is located in banff national park as well um it's intense blue color complemented by a ring of snow cape peaks make it like it's a photographer's paradise so many people were up here it was so windy like it was just so enchanting guys this is one place that you have to see for yourself and of course i had to take some pictures 
so guys i had a quick stop or we had a quick stop at lake louise ski resort and we grabbed something to eat um you guys everything is so pricey here but yeah that was what i got and on my left you could see that there are some gondola there's a gondola ride if anyone was interested to get that but yeah i was so tired i was hungry i just wanted to eat something to continue on my adventure Another lake worth visiting is the Emerald Lake. It's nestled within the Yoho National Park and it lives up to its name. It's surrounded by lush forests and towering mountains and it has a mesmerizing shade of greenish blue. Its color is because of the presence of glacial sleet and there were so many signs here letting visitors know that we shouldn't feed the wildlife. We shouldn't uh, fly our drones over this beautiful lake. When we uh, exited uh, Emerald Lake, a tour guide highly recommended that we had a quick stop at the Yoho National Park. So we just went in and just looked around and as usual, it was as beautiful as the other places that we've been to. It wasn't as packed as um, the other lakes were. But it was beautiful and guys it's so cold this is the height of summer but it was so cold out there we didn't spend a lot of time there we just enjoyed the scenery and we later on returned and embarked on our journey back home so guys here are some of the gems that i enjoyed on my trip to banff uh, if you enjoyed this video kindly leave a thumbs up kindly comment uh, hope you enjoyed this and see you on my next one